Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to diagnose and find out where is cooling going. If you look at your expansion tank, and hopefully you guys do check the level of your expansion tank because usually there is no radiator cap or if it is, it's covered in plastic, you can't check and that's where you check your coolant level. I have noticed it about three months ago that it was low there. So I added some coolant and started noticing on, you know, every other day it's slowly and slowly leaking. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. Where is it? Where is, where is, the, where is, where is the coolant going? So I checked the oil. Oil is no normal color. There is no milky, milky looking milkshake or, you know, there is no moisture, nothing. So I'm like, okay, there's nothing dripping, but where is it going? So I remove the plastic cover on the car, check the radiator, nothing there. Pull the tire, look there, it's all dry, nothing. So I'm like, hmm, I know it's looking, if it's not leaking from the radiator, it's not in the engine. I know the engine was not overheated, so it's not a head gasket. So I'm like, so it has to be going somewhere, so it's a water pump. If you look there, well, you can't see much. You can see the pulley, but looking from underneath, you can see better. And I still could not figure out where it's all going. So, there's something I want to show you guys about the water pump. So, here is the water pump that I bought. I'll be replacing it. And there is a pulley sits on the top. So, the pulley is basically covering this portion of this hole. This hole is for when the pump starts leaking, it will start leaking. But when you have a pulley that sits on top of it, well, you're not gonna see it's leaking. And if it's leaking more um, often uh, when it's running because you have pressure, you know, and it's slowly releasing, and how do you tell when it's everything spinning and throws it everywhere? But you can't see it anything. It's all dry up there. Dry, dry at the top, dry underneath, Not nothing's wet underneath. That's what surprised me the most. So I started looking, I'm like, hmm, can't find it. I'm like, I gotta look at, at again at it, nothing is there. And everything is so packed, it's like, you can't even put your hand there. I lowered my phone down below with a camera on, trying to see if maybe I can spot something, you know, attach a couple strings to the phone so without dropping it, maybe the camera can pick it up. Nothing. I start looking here, I'm like, there has to be signs of something. So I look, 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 I'm like, oh, wait. You see the radiator up there? There is some um, pinkish. Not sure if you can it right there. You see how much pinkish stuff there? That's from the belt. So it is a pump leaking. So it's throwing onto the belt and and throws to other places where it has access. I'm like, huh, that's strange. Maybe we can see something up there. No, can't see much up there. I don't see anything there. So here is an excellent way of checking if your pump is leaking. Look for clues. Here is something else I want to show you. Here is a better view right there. It's from the belt. Belt throws on it. So that's an indication that it's a water pump. If everything is dry, look and see where belt, the residue from the belt, or the coolant re residue on the belt, the, when it's spinning, it's throwing somewhere else. And now we can see it on the radiator and we can see it on the hose. Or right there you can see the wet spot. So. That's how you diagnose your coolant leaking problem. Always look for visual signs. Sometimes it might not be visual signs. If the engine was overheated, then you're gonna be losing coolant through head gasket, which is you're gonna see some type of a smoke through your exhaust pipe. You wanna check for moisture there, for a smell of a coolant. You know, that's the last thing. But if the engine was not overheated, then then it's obvious this is the reason why coolant is slowly leaking. So thanks for watching. Drop me a comment. If you ever had to replace your water pump, 